Let's build Cranko 10 Street Kingpin. This deck wants to make tokens based on how tough our commander can get. So let's build Voltron. In order to grow our commander and get the token benefit he offers, we can use equipments like Sword of Vengeance, Shadow Spear, Fire Shrieker, and Trailblazer's Boots for a multitude of keywords that will get our commander through. Mask of Emery, Infiltration Lens, Explorer Scope, and Rogue's Gloves for card draw and ramp. We can use Bloodforge Axe, Pen and Blade, and Blackblade Reforge for huge amounts of damage, and Trepanation Blade for damage and mill. We can use Sword of Hours, Armory of Eros, and Ring of Aukus for plus one plus one counters. We can also use Shield of the Avatar, Lightning Greaves, Mask of Avacyn, Swiftfoot Boots, and Mirror Shield for some big protection. We can use Argentum Armor for removal, and Moon Silver Spear for more creatures that also fly. And finally, the Ready and Goblin Welder to cycle our poor equipment for our previously removed good equipment. That's not all. Of course we can use cards like Kedis, Emberclaw Familiar, and Rogue's Passage to amplify the lethal force that is our commander. And use cards like Martin Stromblad, Archetype of Aggression, and Heraldic Banner to make the tokens more dangerous. We don't even need to use the tokens in combat to pass out some damage. We can have cards like Blasting Station, Perforous God of the Forge, and Impact Trimmers to put out huge amounts of damage on enter. We can also make more and recycle our tokens with cards like Gut, True Soul Zealot, and Rite of the Raging Storm. We can ramp more with Proface Breaker and Rapacious One, and draw more with Combustible Gear Hulk, Lily of the Blade Reforged, and War Room. And while we're in red, we can go ahead and make the table concede with cards like Blood Moon, Magus of the Moon, and Goblin Charbelcher. If you really want to power up this deck, you can look into some of the Sword Ofs and you'll get some slamming value out of each of them. Finally, we can get some extra value from our tokens with all the famous altars. Altar of the Brood, Ashnod's Altar, Phyrexian Altar, and Altar of Dementia. But what about the goblins? Well, goblins get great value too. We can use Cranko Mob Boss to make more. We can use Goblin Chirurgan, Skirk Prospector, and Goblin Bombardment for more value by sacrificing them. We can use Anger and Frenzied Saddle Brew to give them haste. Goblin Assassin will wipe opposing fields, and the many Goblin Lords will make them bigger. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, like and subscribe for more deck techs. Be sure to follow on Twitch and YouTube Gaming. Also join the Discord in the description below.